Hey everyone, it's Tasia. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing some walkthroughs. I have four different planners that I'm going to be walking through. They're all Kiki K planners. I have this personal size Kiki K. I think they call it blush online. And then I have this A5 size. It's a zipper planner. I want to say it's like pale pink or something like that online. I'll just, I'll link everything in the description bars down below. Um, it's, it, can be very deceiving to the eye. Like at a quick glance, maybe you're like, oh, that's white, but it definitely is not white. It's white with just a smidge of color. It's very, very pale uh, with this pretty gold flake in there. And then I have my A5 size um, mint planner. And then I have an A5 size lilac planner with the zipper closure. It has a bulge there because I have stuff in there, but I wanted to just do a walkthrough and kind of show you what the insides look like. I know when I'm shopping online, I always wish that there were more pictures. Um, so not too much of a review. You guys, if you've followed me for a while, you know that my go-to for ringbound planners are Kiki K planners. I really like them. I think the quality is there. Uh, of course, the quality is met with a price tag, but I've had certain planners for years and they have held up perfect. Like they're still in great condition. Um, so without further ado, let's open up this one. So the way Kiki K lists their planners, they have a medium and a large planner. Their medium planners are personal size and their large planners are A5 size. So this is going to be the personal size Kiki K. And again, I think this one is called blush, um, but again, I'll uh, put it in the description bar. Let me see if I can move my light closer. It's dark outside. <laughs> so let's open it up. I really like the inside of this because I am a total fan of pink and gray together. I think it looks really nice. Um, let me just rip this out really quick. Some of you may wonder why I have so many planners and I personally like to switch it up. I really like with ring bound planners, you can just take out your guts and just put it in another planner. So you don't need to start fresh. You can start fresh if you want, but I I just really like doing that. Some people collect shoes and purses and things like that. I collect planners. So anyways, uh, they always put a little disclaimer in here, or not a disclaimer, but just a little description that the planners are unique. They're handmade. So there may be slight flaws or anything, not a flaw, but you know, they're, they're handmade. So they always include that little card in there. And then always to open your rings by using the buttons. Don't pull them apart because that's just not good for them. So anyways, this is the inside. They come with a little notepad here and then the pocket setup. I really like they're tight, but they're not extremely tight. And then you have the side pocket here. If you can see in there, the uh, rings are a nice, it's not, it's, it's a gold color, but it's not, uh, it's not like jewelry gold. It's a different type of gold. But anyways, to get into the inserts, the one thing that I don't like about Kiki K planners are their inserts, which is fine because I just take them out anyways. Like I want to use the inserts that I use. Um, but if you are going to get this and be like, well, I'm just going to use the inserts in there, be prepared uh, to have slightly thin inserts. Um, the paper is quite thin and they don't give you very much variety and I'll just explain that in just a second. But so they always come with dividers and they have them labeled calendar meetings to do and then your blanks. Um, if I don't label my my dividers, I just flip them over. So I just take everything out and then flip them over and then that way they're just blank and you don't even need to deal with this. Uh, but in the planner that I'm working in now, I actually used their sticker tabs and you'll see they include all these different um, tabs here that you can put to label your dividers. So you have that and then they include some stickers. So just some real general functional stickers there your personal information. So the first set of inserts you have are your calendar inserts. They're undated and they're tiny because it's a personal size. So you have that and then you flip into your meetings. This is the divider. Look how cute that is. Little X's and O's. So you have your meeting notes. So it has subject, date, attendees, location, and then just some lines. So you get a ton of those. Then here's your next divider with the stripes. A 
pen testing. So this is a good, um, so I want to say that this was the ballpoint pen, this one here, and this is a pilot, uh, ballpoint pen, and then I use the pilot gel pen. And then if you can see that in the back, there's definitely some shadowing. So you're going to have to deal with that if you're using these inserts. Uh, for the rest of the inserts, it's seriously all lined to do. That's all it is. So you have a huge chunk of to do, and then you have your divider again. Excuse me, they're not all to do, but they're all lined. So this one is subject and date. And then it's just all lined paper. And then again, another pack of lines. And it's alternating between the X's and O's and the stripes. More lined paper and more lined paper. So that's why I say that the inserts are kind of eh, because they're thin and I don't know, you don't, they're not very subject specific. But anyways, again, easy fix. I buy them for the exteriors. Uh, and then it comes with a little notepad here for the back. And it has like a little slot that you can input, input, you can insert your own notepad if you want, and then a pen loop. So that's the personal size planner. One thing that I do like to get for my planners when I'm using any type of ring bound planner is like a page lifter. You could use just like, you could get some nice card stock and hole punch it that way. When you close the planner, do you see how that back one goes like that? It just lifts the pages so they don't get that bend in there. Or you can just be mindful and just remember to pull your pages out like that. So that is the personal size. And then let's move into the A5 size. This is the zipper planner. Let me zoom out just a teeny bit. Excuse the mess around my planner. Um, I didn't think that I would like a zippered enclosure planner, but actually I really do like it. I've been using the lilac one and it's nice that I can just shove all my stuff in there and zip it up and it's not going to fall out in my bag or when I'm traveling or anything like that. And I just, I don't travel too much with my planners. I take it from home to work and that's about it. Uh, so anyways, we're going to open this up and... One thing I can say about the zipper is that because it's a fabric material here, I can see it getting dirty easier. Uh, but the zipper itself is nice. It's not something that I think would get, it's not like a cheap zipper. It works really well. So let's open this up. And again, this one is super pretty inside. Uh, you have that fabric interior. Get that out of the way. And your notepad your pockets. This one is slightly different because it's an A5. There's room for some more stuff. So you have that side flap as well as this zipper pouch, which personally I don't ever really use. It's really tight. So you have that and then you have this pocket here. And then we'll go into the inserts, which again are going to be almost exactly the same. So we're not going to go as slow. Uh, you have your first divider and then your tabs to label your dividers. This one comes with cuter stickers than that other one, so they're nice, they match the color scheme. And then you have, again, your monthly overview. And then for your next divider, this one just has cute little things, a little bikini top, cupcake, plant, moon watch, just really random stuff. And then you have your meeting notes. This one's really nice. It's like a, I guess it's black with your gold speckles or sprinkles. <laughs> and then you have your to-do lists. You have a motivational quote, and then you have all your lined paper. And then you're gonna start repeating yourself with this pattern here. Your sprinkles, and then another motivational quote. And then when we get to the back, you have your big notepad, which I really like. I like having something that I can just scribble down. Sometimes I just need to jot things down so I don't forget them. And I hate to write them in my inserts sometimes because it just makes it look really ugly. <laughs> I know that's a dumb reason, but I just like this because I can rip it off and just throw it away after I am done. And again, a pen loop. So that is the A5 size. Let me just pull the papers. And then let's move on to the mint colored planner. The mint colored planner I had some questions about because to me, so when you get it, you're like, oh yeah, this is really nice. It doesn't scream mint to me. 
it's more of like a light blue mint, I would say, because I have an old mint planner or an older, and when you compare the two side by side, you can see a huge difference. So this one, minty. This one, not so minty, but it's still a really gorgeous color. I really like the uh, rose gold button snap. I think that's really pretty. And then the inside is just super cute. I was a little taken aback by the white rings. I like the white rings, but you can tell that they were just painted. Like they're not, you can, let me see if I can, can you guys see that? Like you can see the darkness of the rings kind of shining through when you look at it really closely. So not that big of a deal. I would say these rings aren't sitting as tight as the other ones, but they're not gapping. I think it's just the color that's making me think they're not sitting close. Yeah, they're sitting pretty tight. Uh, sometimes if your rings aren't sitting tight, I've gotten to where the pages will catch, but I think it's just the color because you have that you can see the darkness shining through. So anyways, again, same pocket configuration with your little notepad. And then let's show you the dividers really quick. So a nice little motivational, sorry about the light glare there. I really like the colors. They're really creamy pastel. Um, so you have your tabs and then just some decorative stickers and then same inserts. So you have your monthly, Say hello to the good life. We're gonna skip over the inserts because we've been there, done that. Um, this one, you are enough. Find your balance. These are really pretty. I like that they all have like a little metallic touch to them. It's a beautiful day, do something just for you. Have less, do more. And where focus goes, energy flows by Tony Robbins. So that is the mint color and then you have your notepad in the back. So let's close this one up. And then for the lilac, it's going to look a little different inside because I've swapped out a lot of stuff and we might have to skip some sections because they're private, <laughs> but I'll show you the inside. So this is the lilac color. It's really pretty. This one's my favorite, especially heading into spring. I like this one and the, and this one here. Let me show you. These two, I think, are my favorite. And the gold speckly one. They're all cute, scratch that. So anyways, let's open this up. And so when it comes to the tabs, I flipped them over, cause I was like, well, I'm not gonna use like this stuff, but then I ended up putting labels on there. So I just have some cute little things in there. I have my little doggy clips, that's Nunu and Pixie. And then I just have some ephemera, sticky notes, and then a cute little Valentine's Day card that somebody sent me, so I'm stashed that in there. I had, during Valentine's Day, I had um, punched it so I could keep it in my planner, and I just thought that was a really cute little dashboard kind of memento type of thing. Uh, but right now, it's just being stashed in there. So, what do we got going on in here? Okay, so I haven't started using the weekly planning, but I did swap it out for these weekly inserts. Um, and these are available in the shop. This is an A5 size, and I like it because it fits the regular Erin Condren size stickers, with the exception of the weekend banners. I'm not weekend banners, weekend boxes. They're gonna be a little longer, obviously, but you can still work around that really easily. Um, so this is what I'm going to be using for my weekly overview as soon as I move out of my other one. So we have that as my first little section there. And then we have home. And for the home section, I've been using it for my grocery shopping. And I took two different inserts and I mixed them. So I took my grocery shopping insert and my feed me insert because I really like planning this way where I can see my dinners or my meals that I wanna make and then that way I can generate a shopping list. So I just alternated them through the whole section. And it's nice because they both have a front and back side so they're gonna last a while. And then I made these cute little tabs. I haven't added them to the shop yet but I had a huge response for them so I will be making them. They're just stickers and I just used it so that way when I'm flipping through, they're almost like subcategories. So I'll have my work category, but within the work category, I have YouTube or ideas, and that way I can just turn to it really quick. So 
that is the home section. And then for the work section, I will take this little clip out. I was grouping something. Isn't that adorable? That's from My Cute Cuties. Um, but anyways, let me flip this page here. And so for the YouTube, I'm using just this filming schedule because I definitely want to make more videos. I feel like all of my videos are just planned with me's and new releases and I have so much more I want to share. It's just a matter of not having any time. <laughs> so anyways, I started working on a filming schedule so I have my video idea if I film, edit, and post. Um, so that is part of my work section. I'm still building this planner so I have a lot of sections missing. Um, so yeah, right now I just have the filming schedule in my work section. The next section I have inspiration and I'm going to I need to hide a few things because I have some projects that I'm working on. But right now, I'm just using the to-do lists because my um, idea section is just a lot of chicken scratch. I just write things down as they come to me. Uh, so nothing fancy going on here. And then for the rest of the planner, I still have to build it. I haven't built my personal section. Um, my budget section, I started working on and I'm just using these bills to pay for the month. So you put your month what bills are due, the amount, when it's due, and if you paid it. And that is about it. I haven't filled out the dream section either. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if I wanna leave that as a dream section because I have my inspiration. I think I might change it maybe to fitness or something like that. And then I just moved the stickers to the back just so I have them on hand, but I don't know if I'm actually gonna use them. I might still use these, um, but these, yeah, I'll probably use them. So anyways, uh, next you just have your notepad in the back. So yeah, that is what I am using right now. I really like this because again, you have all those different little categories. And while I do love having like individual planners for things, I have my fitness planner, my home planner, my work planner, it can get a little overwhelming. I even have a budget planner. Uh, to me, it's not overwhelming because I'm used to it. That's how I do, but this is really nice because I can take it to work and if I have a question about a bill or a home thing or something like that, it's all in one place. So that is that. Let me just slide that back in there. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I will link all of these down below. Um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.